Hi, this is Jack Stanley, and I wanted to talk about Topsy the Elephant. Now, many people will sit there and say, who was Topsy the Elephant? Well, probably everybody is aware of Topsy, if not totally familiar with her name. She is the elephant that unfortunately is electrocuted on film in 1903 at Coney Island. For those of you who have seen it, most probably you have seen it in conjunction with the statement that the elephant was killed by Thomas Edison in the War of the Currents. Nothing could be further from the truth. Let me explain the story of Topsy, explain what happened, how she was killed, and most importantly, to show that Thomas Edison was not at all involved. Topsy the elephant was an older elephant that was at Coney Island for many years, part of the, the show of elephants that were there. In, uh, in those days they had Dreamland and Luna Park and all that fun stuff there. and. But an unfortunate thing happened to Topsy. A worker threw a lit cigarette in the mouth of the elephant, and it burned the elephant's tongue, and the elephant went on a wild rampage and killed a person. Later, Topsy was attacked by another worker with a pitchfork. She became somewhat unruly. She was an older elephant. She was approaching 30 years of age, which wasn't that old for an elephant, but it was decided by the people at Coney Island who were greedy that they would have a public hanging of the elephant and that they would sell tickets to this public hanging. Well, they were stopped from doing this by organizations that did not want to see animals treated cruelly. And so they dropped that effort and decided to have an electrocution of the elephant. Now, as I see on social media all the time, when I see the various battles between Tesla and Edison, and granted, there were some ugly moments in this War of the Currents. There were individuals who worked for Edison who electrocuted animals. Um, Edison himself wasn't involved in it, but his workers were. See, this is the problem with Edison. We think he's an individual, but he's an entire group of people. And that's why there's a lot of misconceptions about Edison, and also some uh, bragging rights are not truly correct. He is not an individual who has more patents than anyone else. He was the head of a corporation, a company, a research laboratory. Thomas Edison, 60 people. Or it could have been 50 people, it depends what year. But the thing is, that Coney Island decided to kill Topsy. Now, Edison was not involved for the specific reason. First off, he wasn't involved in the electrical industry at all at this point. Edison, of course, was involved in developing incandescent lighting. He did not invent the light bulb. Okay, let's straighten that fact out first and foremost. Electric lighting goes back uh, for years before Edison was born, there, were work, there was work done on it. It didn't really come to any form of fruition until Swan in England and Edison in the United States kind of developed their systems, which were rudimentary. And of course, in later years, afterwards, you had interesting people coming to work for Edison. Louis Latimer, you had... Nikolai Tesla, both individuals quite brilliant, but Tesla was into a world all himself. He was amazingly brilliant, but lacked social skills. 
in fact, in many respects, Tesla's worst enemy was Tesla. But that's another story altogether. Edison and Westinghouse had battles. It was called the War of the Currents, ACDC. And, of course, Edison would lose because his system was not as advanced as the system that had been developed by Tesla. Now, the thing that's very important is that Edison developed his system of DC in reaction to the previous lighting system, which we never talk about. And, of, that, of course, that was the arc light system, which was basically two carbon arcs that would shoot electricity back and forth like Frankenstein's laboratory. And they would be very bright, and they would hire immigrants right off the boat to change these things, and quite often they would be electrocuted. Edison wanted to develop a system that was safer. And that is why the DC system was set up, because of its safety. Edison was terrified of anything that went against it, like alternating current, which, in a sense, those arc lights used something similar to that. Now, the thing is that um, the alternating current proved successful, proved superior, and in fact, today, we use that system. But there's an interesting point to that. AC is the system that brings our electricity all over. But once it gets to your home and goes to any appliance, it is immediately transferred to DC because DC is a better way of operating things. It has more torque. It's a, it's a much more manageable system. So in a sense, both systems had their merit. DC did not have... Uh, basically the capability of transferring far. AC could transfer far, but wasn't very useful for working with machinery and uh, also appliances. So they both worked together. But getting back to uh, Topsy, they decided to kill the elephant. They got people to wire her up with alternating current, of course. They fed her carrots with cyanide, electrocuted her, and she died. Now, there was an Edison film crew. A lot of times people say that was Thomas Edison filming it. Thomas Edison was never there. Uh, Edwin Porter filmed the execution because it was newsworthy. That is why there was a camera there. It's not that often that you see an elephant electrocuted, okay? And, of course, the thing is, Topsy died, and for many, many years, even to the present day, we still hear that Edison killed Topsy. I'm here to tell you, once and for all, Topsy was not killed by Thomas Edison. Topsy was killed by the greedy and money-hungry owners of Coney Island, the people who held her captive. One last thing to mention to you. People could come to me and say, well, Jack, Edison was in the electrical industry. He could have done it. He could have done it quietly. He could have sent his people over to do it. Well, I have to tell you, Edison created an electrical industry called Edison General Electric. They kicked him out in the mid-1890s. He's done with electricity. He takes all of his stock and sells it and gets involved in iron ore separation. In fact, he told a compatriot, I'm going to do something now and no one will remember that I was ever involved in electricity because he didn't like it. It was not a comfortable thing. So, Tesla, Edison, and a lot of that story is just that, a story. Edison and Tesla had their moments when they disagreed. But, they were friends. They would meet for lunch occasionally, especially in their later years. In fact, Tesla and Edison used to write letters to each other. 
Tesla came to Edison's daughter's wedding. These are not two individuals that dislike each other. They had differing opinions. They had differing ideologies. But to say that this was a ruthless, cutthroat battle, it was not. I'm not saying that Edison was a saint, because he wasn't. He was a ruthless businessman. And if you're in business, you have to be ruthless. Otherwise, you're not in business. Case in point, Nikolai Tesla. But Topsy died. And Topsy was killed. Basically because of mismanaged by, mismanagement by other people. But I want to set the record straight that Topsy was indeed killed by Coney Island. Edison had nothing to do with it. Tesla had nothing to do with it. Westinghouse had nothing to do with it. It was all a big show. And today, it's all part of pop culture. It's wrong.